Okay, gang, for your single leg or band single leg deadlift with a PNF pattern, basically we're gonna attach a really light band, okay? It's gotta be light uh, to a lower attachment point. And from here, we're gonna step out. Outside foot is gonna be your plant foot. So you wanna make sure you have a good tripod foot in terms of your balance. So two points of contact, one below the uh, pinky toe, one below the big toe, one at the heel. Creating a good arch and you're gripping the ground. And then from here, your knee is gonna be in line with that big toe. As you go through this movement, if you don't have stability, that's what we're working on here as well, if you don't have that stability, you're gonna find that your knee is gonna to wanna to cave in or your foot is gonna to wanna to collapse. And obviously you gotta to try to maintain and resist both of those uh, things. Okay, so this is again, single leg deadlift. So in terms of the deadlift, double chin, rib cage, pull down the belt buckle, belt buckle up to rib cage, just so you have good spinal alignment from the top of your head down through your hip into the ground. So from here, if you're in this kind of S posture, take a big breath into like the belly, exhale, and just tuck the hips underneath and decrease that distance between your hands. If you're somebody who's in kind of that C posture already, you may need to get a little bit extended here as much as you can to try to get in that good straight line position, okay? So here we are, we've got the band attached. Now with the hand motion, it's very important that you start out with internal rotation. And as you come up, you're gonna peel it away from your body into external rotation, okay? So this would be internal at the top, this would be external. So internal at the bottom, peel away, external rotation. It's really key that you do that. If you don't have a band, you can also do this with a dumbbell as well. I just like the band because now it gives me some good rotary forces that we have to resist and being a golfer, I like that. Okay, so from here, this right foot's gonna be off the ground. Now it's not gonna travel back or forth like we normally do with a, a single leg deadlift, the foot will travel backwards. With this one, we're just gonna kind of hover it off the ground. Okay, hand on your hip, or I like to have, create some tension and have the hand uh, extended and making a fist. From here, gonna hinge at the hip back as you go down and kind of go across the body here. Again, internal rotation, and then you're gonna bring the hips going forward as you would with a deadlift, peel that band off, hold for a two count. That's external rotation with that left hand. All right, back into your deadlift, so hip hinge, down slow, hold for a two count at the bottom, hips go forward, back up. One more time, load, back up. Just to give you a quick view from the side here, the deadlift, if you guys are doing this pattern, you guys should already know what deadlift is, but we're hinging at the hip, okay? We're here, we're here, in this position, not in that position, and not excessive, I can't even get into it, but not an excessive S posture either in here. Okay, so you wanna maintain that good spinal alignment, hinging at the hip, boom, loading the glute and hamstring. Guys, that is your band, single leg deadlift with a PNF pattern.